case, in this video, I am going to discuss about identity column set and increment values in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, and here, if you select any or table columns, so I am going to select add here. So, uh, and here you can find identity set and identity identity increment. So, by default, to add here the value is zero. So here you can or uh, cannot change the value. So for this, I'm going to write or uh, the query where I'm going to put some values on column seed and increment values. So add here, let's write create or table. So add here, going to write to table and here E and P. Now here after so add here going to write add here EMP ID and here this should be integer tag and here going to give add here identity and here the first is column set add here two and that increase by five. So add your column set to and that increment by 5 and that must not be null and here after going to take name so that should be back here given the size 55 here and that must not be null and here after going to insert the values So there is a one table that created with the name and here or TBL EMP. So let's replace that. So and here select TBL EMP now here after. So let's go and find at this point columns. So and here right click. So and here now. Or you can get to add here identity seed. So add here or two and increment to increment by five. Since I have given at this point int identity, so add here two and here that to increase by five. So it must be integer tab or number you have to take at this point. Now here after so I'm going to find column seed and increment value so here you can uh, manually you can uh, check by properties now here after I am going to find or uh, find the column seed and increment values so add here or uh, for this we need to write the queries so add here select and here at this point we need to write I then Ident here you can find seed. So add here about this one. So built in function ident seed table or view name. So that written numeric here. So let's take this one and in single code going to pass the table name. So the table name dbl emp and here as so id s double ed id set now let's give add here now here after ident so next to that i am cr so this is also built in fun uh, function that return numeric values so here again we need to pass at this point dbl r Add an EMP now as so as add here I am CR and here after I didn't now uh, in last we need giving add here cur so this will show you the current identity so we need to pass add here D B L and here EMP 
and as your current value. So let's keep as there or a character current height then. So let's execute that here. Yeah. This query. So this query is returning at here at this point. ID set. So ID says two and that increased by five. And here the current identity at this point here two. So to find identity column seed and increment value, so you have to write this query. Now here after I'm going to insert some record inside TBL EMP table. So add your TBL EMP. So since uh, this is int is the identity column, so we don't need to pass any value. So add here I'm going to write at this point maximum. So that for that can. Now here after I'm going to I did not insert any value. So here after I am going to receive the value. So add here for this we need to write the query D B and here C C and here check at this point check and here I dent check I dent and here going to write T B L and here E M P and here after going to use receipt and here passing the value at this point to 50 or let's give at your 100. Now if you execute this query, so let's see what happens. So at here checking identity information that is null db so here after let's execute that so see current value it's now it's changed by 100 because at here i used dbc check identity and here i used reset so here or oh, that start here that increase and here after 100 since i've given the 100 so current value it's now changed by 100 or you can pause at here or you can directly use this one so at here now, now check that so again the same output now here after I am going to insert some records so here select insert into tbl values so I have to give at this point values now insert again so one row affected so if you execute this query so again there is no any changes the same value that I am getting now here after the next thing is I am going to calculate or max identity column and mean identity column so for this let's give add here select and at this point max and here identity column identity column and here as a1 and here mean identity column as a2 now here after let's give at here from the table name going to pass tbl and here emp so let's execute this query mean identity call so at here getting okay we need to give at here comma separator So see at here or since minimum and maximum identity columns at here or 100 100 it's a display now or if you want to check here you can uh, check by using this query so add here id seed and here 
Now here after, uh, let's give at this point some values. Like uh, I'm giving at here five, comma, and here giving this one. Now execute that. So at here explicit value value id column tbl specified when so at here this is the on id column that on so we cannot give at this point any values so the, about that one i discussed in one videos so here after let's give at here select a star from the table name tbl emp is the table now here after i execute this query So the actual 100. Now, add here, I'm going to give execute this one more time. Insert one row, execute this one. So 100, not 5. Now, here after it will execute this query. So see, add here, our current value is now 5. So increment by add given 5 so that that increase by 5. Now, here after you can check that thing. So add here a2. So it is the mean value and here the max value is now 105. Suppose if you give at here insert or new record at this point. So see at here one row inserted and here 105. So at here the value start or uh, since I have given at this point the value received value at that point I given 100. So current value change by 100 now that increased by 5 because at this point when I create the table so this is the starting here this is the increment so here that increased by 5 so add here that increased by 5 now that current value is now 100 10 and uh, minimum value you can find so let's execute that so 110 is the current value and now Add here you can find minimum and maximum. So 100 is the minimum, add here 110. Add here. So this is the starting value. So minimum value is now 100 and that it maximum value is now 110. So here after you can reset the value again. Okay. So let's give add here 2. So DVC. So add here ID columns. So current is now. One thing. Now let's check that. So for checking, going to use select. So add your current value. It's showing now here after since I reset the value. Now check. So see at here again current value is now I start from two. So if you enter some values, so add here going to enter again new value. Here. So one row of acted and here you can find so here the starting value is now 2 and here the starting value is 2 now 2 increase by 5 so the value is now 7 so if you execute and here max and mean so see at here or uh, a1 so a1 is the this point 110 is the max value and mean value is now a2 so it is the 7 is the mean value so this is the way we can reset add here the values. So this is the things add here IDT columns and increment values in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.